Runaway Robot. All right. Um, uh, let's let's see if this helps a little bit. Again, it's it's there's a weird like balancing issue between audacity and then all of my streaming stuff, and I don't know why it exists like that. Way better. Good. Excellent. 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 I'll have to keep that in mind. Those are some settings that I need to keep in mind that are different between just recording and uh, when doing streaming. So, welcome, guys. Uh, so, we're going to do a little bit of DM prep today. Uh, so, hopefully, that that works out for us. Uh, again, these this is this is how I can kind of get into the mood for today's show, uh, and hopefully, remember what the hell's going on, right? Um, so I think the big thing for us, God, so we have our page here and again, I'm utilizing a, a different stream format, so I'm not entirely sure you didn't write the, the settings down after the last stream, uh, literally just they're different now. So the, the settings I had set right now, it's totally different because I'm using Streamlabs OBS rather than regular OBS, totally different program. So that's why there's some issues. Um, yeah, because Streamlabs OBS doesn't allow me a lot of internal playroom with the audio, which is why for the show this afternoon, I'll likely just use OBS, regular OBS. Uh, even though this some has some good utility, the, the audio options here are just, like, non-existent. So. Regardless, uh, so this show is generally for me to get back into what the hell's going on. Uh, so here's our here's our sheet. God, what 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 is what has happened? What the hell has has happened? Um, I think at the end of the last stream we actually didn't uh, do goals, did we? I don't think we did goals. Where's my notebook? Where's my notebook? There's traps. <laughs> Forgot about traps. Oh, and here's the history of the dwarves. All right, cool, cool. I'm finding things now. I'm finding things. Every time we take a week break, we forget our dice rolls for spells. I forget everything all the time. It's it's really bad. Whoa, it's really bad. I accidentally just hit the space bar there. Um. Okay. Well. Huh. So I think goals, goals-wise, uh, we should take a look at what they have written. To Ignis Smart Guy Erdrick. Yikes, boys. Um, I think it's in the edit sheet here. Let's see if he's got them in here. No. No. Okay. Well, never mind. Hopefully someone has them written down. I just want to check them against what we already have. Here we go. Uh, at least Darian does. Whoa! See, that was way loud. Cute! Thanks for the sub, bud. I appreciate it. Six months! Half a year. Half? I've been doing this for half a year. Damn. That's pretty cool. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, So, goals-wise, Darian, protect Ignis, secret currently terrified and thinks he's bit off a bit more he can chew, wants to get above ground ASAP. Okay. Uh, complete the mission with Jirok alive. Okay, so those are the three that he's got going on here. And then he wants to get closer to Miar, but that's one he's not running uh, to try to get experience out of. Okay, cool. So we're good there. So he Darian's figured out. That's fine. I get the feeling that these are right for Ignis. So he's going to get some experience for, for quote-unquote, getting every player character to the stronghold alive. They did that. That happened. Um, so the level of difficulty for that, I think is, it's a hundred times the player level. Is that right? So he'll get f like 400 experience. That sounds about right. That sounds right. 400 experience. Uh, get info on the village and brother. Q. Hey, Mikyagi. Welcome to the stream. How much do you do on-the-fly story and event-wise as DM when they're playing? Uh, 
like the questions and the plans the players can come up with are pretty much endless. Yeah, exactly. Uh, improvisation is is super key. Yeah. Uh, I just set a framework, and then we just play within the framework. If they decide that they there's something that they want to go do, like, they don't have to do any of the stuff we're talking about at all. They can just leave. The world will continue to exist with them gone, and they'll have to deal with the consequences of those things. Uh, but they don't have to participate, right? They can go do something else. Like, let's say they just, like, they're like, screw this. Let's go be bounty hunters. Just, okay, cool. Let's go be bounty hunters. Uh, you walk into a bar. Uh, there's various people around and someone who looks very skeezy and uh, you go ask him about a bounty, <laughs> you know? So, it's, uh, it, there's, there, you can do a lot. It, it, improvisation is very important. That would be interesting for them to describe getting to know better. Yeah. Hey, Dusen, welcome to stream, bud. I saw that. Don't get lewd in here. Um, so the the getting to know you ones becoming closer with in between PCs uh, is is up to the PC that that person's supposed to get close to. So Darian wants to get closer to Miara, but Miara is the one that says, "Yeah, you know what? I think we actually made some progress here. I think we're better friends now." And then he would get rewarded uh, experience for that. Jeez, thanks for the bits, bud. Those are really loud on my end. I, I gotta figure out what's 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 that all about. Thank you, Mikyagi. I appreciate that, bud. No message. Just just bits. Just bits. Oh! I also figured out um on stream there's actually options for stream le or tip leaderboards. So it doesn't have to be every week. So right now it's set up as every month. So I think that's pretty cool. And then the overall one is underneath the stream. You can take a look at who's who's tip leader on the bottom there. Anyways, that, that was just kind of cool. He might want to get into Miara's pants. If that's something that he wants to do, uh, that's up to Miara. Uh, I'm not someone who's going to let them RP that shit out. Because that's not the type of show I'm running. Uh, but if they want to fade to black scene, sure. Why not? That's on them. I, I think that'd be really weird. My badge! You got a you have a, a, a thousand badge just sitting there. I think because that's like all time. Uh, anyways, so so for Miara, learn about the organization, the hand. Attempted to do that last time. Um, attempted to do that last time. So, which good on her, but it was really misplaced. Like who she was asking. I don't think I don't think Professor understood from previous. Uh, here, I'm going to rip a sheet of paper out here. Here's some ASMR for you. <laughs> uh, I don't think Professor understood that Jirak has zero association with the hand, uh, except for, like, having just been in contact with them. He has no idea what, how, what the organization of that structure is. Right. Just make them roll a constitution saving throw to see how long they last. Yikes, boys. And that judges how satisfying it was. Uh, sure, why not? We'll see if it ever gets there. I get the feeling Miara will never let that happen. That's not her character. Right? I just don't see that happening. Darian is like the opposite of what Miara, at, at, as far as I can tell, would want. Um, okay. So, Ignis. Let's, let, I'm writing down goals in my notebook here so we can track experience here. So, Ignis achieved goal three. Right? So, Ignis... Uh, he did it. He got every PC to the stronghold alive. So he will receive 400 experience for this. This is this is something that hopefully you guys cuz I don't I don't really watch chat a whole lot, but I know my players do. So if we get to the end of a session and we haven't gone over goals, please pay, spam chat. All right? Guys, like let me know. Uh, cuz again, it's something I'm not used to doing, which is end of every session. It's not like long rest stuff. It's end of every session. Uh, so just let's keep that in mind. Uh, so Ignis is getting experience here for that. Uh, so he needs a new goal. Right. Um, Miara, I think, you know what? And, and, and this is something I want to encourage too. When they make strives to co uh, complete a goal, they do. They should get a portion of experience for making that happen. So I think that's good. Twitch uh, fixed the badge or something. At least it's showing, finally. So, Q, I was just talking about this. I, I currently have... Um, they, they, they gave it... There's new options. There's new bit options. Uh, where you can... It, it can reset for every week or every month. Uh, or it can show at the top at all time. 
So what I think, I, I've got it set at every month right now. We'll see how this goes. Uh, and the all-time leaders are underneath, right? They're underneath the stream. If you go look in the, uh, there's like a bit uh, block, I guess. But yeah, so so hopefully that works. And we'll, we'll play around with that too. Those are new, as far as I've seen. So, uh, so Miara attempted to learn about the hand. Uh, to, to, like, zero result, right? Like, nothing actually happened here. So, I think in this case, she's level three. It wasn't hard to ask or try to, like, make any progress in that regard. So, I think, like, 50 XP for just trying is, is not out of the realm of, like, of, of possibility here. Nolan, welcome to the stream, bud. How are you? How are you? So, I think that's that works. And, you know, I get the feeling that Miara's probably going to change this one because there's not really any opportunity to learn about the hand here if Jirok isn't part of them. And he's not. Uh, the last one of hers is no lasting impact to herself from being on this mission. Uh, we have yet to be... yet. This is yet to be seen. Completion of the mission will 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 show this, right? Okay. Uh, Darian, protect Ignis. Um, I really dislike these protect goals. Because uh, they're very ambiguous. Because every fight is an opportunity to do that. But unless they say, like, out loud that they're going to do this, then I, I don't think I can reward experience for it. They're going to be like, if Darren's like, I want to step in front of, you know, something that, that stops uh, Ignis from getting hurt, right? Like any of the traps from last session or something like that. Um, I think this one here is the one that he's looking to actually keep. Um, and I think this is the side one right now. We'll have to clarify this. Both of these things haven't happened, so we're not really worried about that. He has not made any progress towards getting above ground. That's not happened. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about Darian's goals a little bit with him when we start the show, I think. Uh, complete the mission with Jirok alive. So here's the thing. I think he actually does get experience for this. If this is one of the ones, uh, that he wants to utilize... Because he, he's expending healing points uh, to physically keep Jirok's curse at bay, which is which is awesome, which is awesome. I'm, I'm really glad that he's, like, taken to, to, to caring for this warrior, right, uh, in, in the best way that, that he knows how. So Jirok's curse has been... Has, I have a background counter for Jirok. It's like Jirok's death counter, right? This dude's gonna die. It's just a matter of when. But with the, 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 the healing that Darian's been able to provide, it, it, it's, like... It's been able to kind of stall uh, Jirok's curse out, so he's been he's been healthier. He hasn't had to make like Constitution saving throws during fights uh, to see if he can fight, right? Because he, he's had this this like holy healing power uh, applied to him daily, essentially, right? So so far it's it's happened uh, every day, at least in the morning or in the evening. Uh, so it, I I think Darian's it's he's actually made progress here with this. Um, I think this one, because it, it actually costs resources for him to do, is technically a little bit like higher of a, of a difficulty. Uh, so I think I think a hundred experience for the end of the session for him to continue to do this is is, is a good incentive, because um, it is it is moderately moderately difficult here. Let me uh, I'm going I'm I'm taking a look at what the uh, yeah easy medium is 150 for him. Okay, so 150 makes sense. Medium. Or easy as 75. Okay, so Miara would receive 75 experience for just trying to ask about the hand. 150 experience for Darian for, for keeping Jirok alive. He's literally keeping him alive. Hey, Blood Devil, how you doing, bud? Welcome to the stream. Uh, he's literally keeping Jirok alive right now. So, good on him. Um, and it, so it looks like Ignis, because he completes a goal... Uh, so it's 100 times his level, so 400 experience. At least that's how I have it set up right now. So, that's generous. Which part? The 75? Let's see, let's see, uh... uh yeah, doesn't tell me which one. Which one's generous? Um, I don't need alignment. I just want to see... 
character advancement. Here we go. I'm just looking at this off screen real quick. Uh, and you know what? I could actually just show you the, what I'm looking at here. Oh, did it not work? Son of a biscuit. You know, I had this all set up previously, but... Hang on a sec. Properties. All right. Well, that's... That's unfortunate. Where's... This was literally working right before I started the stream. Are you kidding me? 75 experience for asking a question. So you don't want to... Do you think that's not enough progress? You're right. Well, because it's not progress into finding out anything about the hand. But it was an attempt. What would you put it at? Give me a give me a justification. Why why is this not working? I'm so confused. Why is Alright, so that works there. There we go. Jeez, that's so weird. Alright, so I'm just looking at the, the character advancement thing here. I'm just looking at levels. So we have a couple level threes. So they need 2,700 experience. Let's see where they're at. 1675 for Miara. And 1900 for Darian. Nice, Darian. She literally asked only one question, didn't even get info from. There was an attempt. There was an attempt, but there was no progress made. I Okay, I can agree with that. I, I Maybe I'm being... I, yeah, I think I'm being overly generous because I want them to try. Does that make sense? I'm being overly generous because I want them to try. The goal was only to attempt, though. No, the goal itself was to learn about the organization. Right? Alright. I think you're right. I, You know what? I think you're right. It's too generous. She learned nothing about the hand. It was an attempt, but there was, no, there was nothing gained out of that. But I still want to encourage asking. I still want to encourage pursuing your goals. Right? I get that, but you can reward them in other ways. Like maybe asking questions they learn about other stuff. Uh... Huh. Okay. Interesting. I'm, I'm like, I'm getting really frustrated with watching Streamlabs OBS here, like, flounder with audio stuff. This is, like, I thought I was I was making a good decision here. No. No. So, well, we'll have to figure that out. Uh, that's on my end. But, th so the question's already been asked, though. So this is, this is retroactive, right? But I want to encourage the actual asking. I'll have to think on that. I'll have to think about it. Giving XP just for asking questions could easily be abused. Not that I expect the group to. Yeah. But I want them to pers like to actively pursue these goals. But you know what? You're right. Maybe I'm o I'm being overly generous here. Because it's not even an expenditure. At least like it with Darian's, right? So at least with Darian, he he has to expend resources to do this, right? So he technically deserves more for actually doing something. All right, I, I can I can agree with that. That works. That's fine. Sad for Miara, she doesn't get anything. <laughs> uh, you get stuff. You get XP when you actually learn things, not when you ask. True. The pursuing of the goal is reaching the goal. I guess so, in this case? Sure. I could see that. Alright, well, you know what? I think that's enough about goals for now. We've kind of got what we need there. Uh, have there been updates on any of these fronts? The war itself? Uh, Reist, the remaining High Lords armies fight for the city of Urgic to restore it. Players are currently working for Reist. Can you see this? Yeah, you can. Uh... The Orc King wants to free the slaves of Urgic and reunite the Northern Tribes. Orc King Advisor, which is Valrul, has gone rogue, working for his aspect. New City of Urgic, Heat of Unrolls, 
Um, every, the neighborhoods are basically like, uh, what, what would you call these? Like, they're like gang locations now. Um, like, every neighborhood's owned by a certain gang, essentially. A company. They're all just, like, thugs, though. Uh, Valrule has taken orc, goblin, ogre troll soldiers and converted them to followers, worshippers, cultists. Yep, 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 yep. Funneling power and sacrifices and energy into a chosen. This is the ultimate goal. This is something we're going to have to start looking at really soon. The fight with Valrule, right? If there's a fight with Valrule. Or somehow what 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 are the what are the players going to be able to what are they going to do receiving a bulk of the former urdric slaves and captives in pfws yep 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 okay cool uh jirak this is all the same stuff yep cool so they've made it Okay, cool. I think that's, that, like, all of this stuff is still relevant here. Would it be considered cheating for the players to watch this stream? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, it would. I, uh, if I had, if I knew that any of the players were watching the stream, I would have to remove them from the game. That's just how it is. If they get XP for milestones, they might be, like, this is too difficult. I already got such a such XP from this. I'm good. So, so here's the thing. You you literally know everything that's going on if you watch this, right? Like, every, there's no surprise. There's no game anymore if you watch this. If you watch how the game's going to be played, what's the point? You know. And and I I like the if you're a player in this like. Where's the fun if you already know everything that happens? If they get XP for milestones, it might be like, this is too difficult. I already got such and such XP from this. I'm good. Preserving the goal is reaching the gold. That is the reward. Like, they're more likely to continue if they reach the goal. Okay. I kind of see, see where you're coming from. Uh, So, in addition to, to what we just did... What? Did we have fights last time? We did. Right? We had one fight here. Shoot. How many orcs were there? Four? I remember four. Is that right? It's not a hard fight. Two level three characters, one level four character, and one level five character. Yeah, the fire elemental. I think that's. I I kind of have. I have a. I I've been thinking about that a lot, recently. The fire elemental. Um. Was there only? There's only four orcs, right? Yeah. 525 experience split between four people. <laughs> so they didn't really earn a whole lot for that fight, but they were... It's not a hard fi fight with Jirok there, for sure, yeah. Think four, and then they met the old dwarf guy. Yeah! Dude, I'm so stoked for old dwarf guy. Odeg. Odeg. Silvernail. Oh. He's gonna be awesome. I've been thinking a lot about him this week, too. I'm excited. All right, so let me get my calculator because I don't feel like doing mental math today. I do enough mental math during the week that I don't I don't need to do it here. Uh, divided by four. 131 for each character. Uh, cool. Cool. I think that was the only fights that they had. He is level five. He has better abilities than any PC could have at that point. Yeah. No, I mean, he's, like, he's stupid good. Uh, he would, there would be a lot more issue. Uh, I'll, I'll show you him. Actually, where's he at? He's an NPC. So, he's, he's kind of in ridiculous. He's kind of ridiculous. Um, 
but it's part of it's part of the 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 gift that he got with the ring, right? So he's still taking advantage of the magic of the ring, uh, even though he's cursed. So, but yeah, the, the this guy's ridiculous, and what they're based on is ridiculous too. Like that that creature is crazy. Jarak was kick ass, yeah. So here's the thing. So without the healing that he's been receiving, Jarak would be almost useless. Every every attack that he's he'd have to make into a fight, he has to make a Constitution saving throw that increases every time he makes an attack. So the the baseline for for his con if during a fight, right? So here here's let me explain Jarak for you guys, right? So this is this is the background stuff. Um, he has to make Constitution saving throws. Every successful one doesn't up the 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 difficulty but if he fails one it ups the difficulty for the next one because the curse starts taking more and more hold right so his initial it's 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 like it's an easy it's like a dc 10 right if he's not if this is all if darian doesn't do what he's been doing so that's that's this is what i'm de describing to you is i didn't i didn't think darian was going to go do it i didn't think he was going to do it or try and he did and i was very proud of him uh <laughs> but so it starts with a DC 10, but if he fails, it goes up to DC 12, and then DC 14, 16, and so on and so on and so on. Every attack. But because he's being healed, the curse doesn't have as much hold on him, meaning that some of these fights are, are you know, no need. The thing is, so like here, I'm going to remove, like, let's say, uh, let's say Jarok's not even in the party. That, that encounter is still only a medium encounter. The reason it was so hard was because they got hit by every trap known to mankind uh, on the way in. And who do you think's maintaining those traps? Any, any, any guesses? Any guesses on who's maintaining the traps and why? Why would that happen? So, Odeg's gonna be awesome. I love him. I'm already, I'm already like super into this guy. He's gonna be real weird. Yeah, they really do love traps. Yeah, the dwarf, the dwarf, has been maintaining the traps of the stronghold. Now, why would he do this? Maybe the dude doesn't like orcs too much. Maybe he doesn't like them in his homeland too much. So maybe he's maintaining the traps. Uh, to, you know, cause a little ruckus. Did they walk into the soot trap yet? <laughs> no. 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 They, uh... <clears throat> they did the... There was the Thunderstone one. The Thunderstone trap that, like, annihilated them. <laughs> it's really bad. They all, like, failed their saves there, too. Uh, a couple of arrow traps. Um, fire spray, soot spray, lamout. No, no, no. That hasn't happened yet. That's, um... That's the vault. So here, we'll talk about that. Yeah, the Dwarven flashbang. That's this. There's our boy. I'm gonna go ahead and bring him to uh, the token layer so we can see. Uh... So here's our boy. <laughs> oh god. So here's the thing. All right, let's bring up. Let's look at. Uh, Where's he at? Fire elemental. Let's look at his character sheet real quick. So he's a very low armor class. All right, it's just an armor class thirteen. Um, but he has 102 health, and he's resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. And from non-magical attacks. So literally all the attacks that they have. He's immune to fire and poison. Cannot be exhausted, grappled, paralyzed, restrained, prone, unconscious. Literally any status effect. Um, so here's the deal. His languages currently are Ignan. But I think... I think for this... Uh, the, he'll understand Dwarvish. And attempt to speak Dwarvish. I get the feeling that party's going to soil themselves when they see that. Yeah. Do they have magic weapons? They do not. They do not. Um, Darian can make 
his sword magical, but it's fire magic. So it will not help him. Uh, I think... Yeah, none of, none of them have magical weapons. Mm -mm. No, that's what makes this, this, this encounter super dangerous. So he has Divine Smite. Where's his uh, Searing Smite? Is it Searing? Yeah, it's fire damage. Yeah, so they have no they have no magical weapons. They need Kratos for that guy. Yeah, so this this is here. Uh, so let me let me look. So a fire elemental normal is a CR five, uh, and so with with Jirok, this is quote unquote a hard encounter. I would pepper some healing pot. Pots before they get to that spot? Yeah. Uh, yes. This is an encounter they can avoid. This is an encounter that they... Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to give everything away for this. There's... There's opportunity here. There's really big opportunity here. Um... They don't... I mean... Like a lot of fights in D&D, you don't have to take this fight. Right? So... I think this will be interesting. Without so here's the deal. Without Jarak, all of a sudden this fight is fucking hard. It's like impossible. <laughs> hey Henrik, how you doing, bud? This prep stream is great. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. It's an optional thing. Yep, it's an optional thing. But there's there's stuff that can happen here that I'm pretty excited about. So how about this? Alright, chat. Help me out here. Help me out here. So here's here's my thought, right? So they come into this area here. There's going to be uh, signs of of like, you know, scorch marks and like orc corpses and shit laying around here. And there's going to be a distinct lack of any orcs in this area. Obviously, some shit went down. Uh, so I think that's that's how we go with this. Now, let's say they they win. They win. Uh, they get the key to um, the the Dwarven Vault. What do we put in the vault? I think Odeg, the reason they're gonna, they're, they would try to go is Odeg wants uh, his, like, let's let's call it like his, his grandfather's hammer. So he's, 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 uh, he's a silver nail, right? Which means he is in a long line of, um, the clan leaders, right? So be, because he's a silver nail, his father and his father before him and his father before him would all have been clan leaders of cl of clan silver nail, right? F something magical, a dwarven magic weapon. Yeah. Chainmail plus one or some such. Good ideas, good ideas. Um, I think Odeg wants his his like his grandfather's hammer or something like that. Which, like, in this vault will be, um, like, uh, the tomb of, of his grandfather will be there as well, right? And it's inside that. Clearly trapped. Uh, trying to think about what trap. After fighting a fire elemental, I don't know what, what we can do there without, like, killing them. Roll on the treasure table. Or maybe just decide. I think chainmail plus one in, or in a pile of money. Maybe not money, but ingots. True. I, I think a lot of the money would not be there anyways because the clan would have left. But they would have left stuff behind because they couldn't take everything. So that's what we would be looking for. Um, let's take a look at... Uh Random treasure generator. Let's just see. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's look at magic items. Uh, rare. Maybe like an armor or something. Yeah, plus one chainmail looks right up the alley for, for this kind of thing. Dwarven mighty ring or helm. Something cool like that. 
few ingots laying around the dark corners and stuff. Yeah, I think I think a lot of it would be gone, but I still think there's definitely treasure there, right? So like, let's if we do treasure, let's do a treasure hoard. Uh, the CR for this is a lot, right? Uh, CR five because that's the the challenge rating for the the encounter here. Um, <laughs> potions of healing, yeah, they might need those. Dwarven Steel. Yeah. Small vial of perfume. Ugh, no. Thanks. I'm literally just clicking through the random generator here. Singer, what's up, bud? How you doing? Uh, so, yeah, there's going to be money and stuff. Like, just... It, the, the thing is, we could do ingots and thing like, things like that, but it's, it's so much easier to just hand out cash. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, but let me let's let's look at magic items here real quick. Um like a weapon. Yikes, a rare weapon is plus 2. It's pretty it's pretty good. So I think I think what what's there? Uh he wants the hammer from his grandfather's tomb. Uh, because Odeg, as, uh, basically, as as far as he knows, he's the last surviving Silvernail. So he's technically, he's technically the clan leader of the Silvernails. Right? Which is cool, I guess, for him. Uh, so he's the last surviving silver nail and he wants the, his grandfather's hammer which would have been like the weapon of the clan leader um i think that would be interesting so let's 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 take a look at like what would his weapon be where's my dm book let's let's take a look at at stuff where's where's items ha, the hand of vecna <laughs> uh oh Cursed artifacts. Nice. Sentient items. A morning star, you think? Staffs. Slippers. Norman the Silly, welcome to the stream, bud. How are you? If some hero died here some time ago, would their body still be wearing its equipment, or would it have been cleared away? Uh, so, the description here. He threw a torch into a baby bear's face. Singa, what's wrong with you? <laughs> That's exactly what you should do. Throw in a cursed item in there for the giggles? Sure. It would be cool with an intelligent item with some old dwarf lord soul fused to it, but that might be too powerful. True, Henrik, that might be a little bit much. Watch it take over Ignis and amplify his ambitions even further. Oh, God. A sentient item with the spirit of his ancestor inside? Do you, so, do you think that's what that's why Odeg wants it? That's why he would want the uh, the hammer, Morningstar, etc. Uh, there's Mace. Sorry, reading through shit. A mace of smiting. Plus one. Where it increases to plus three when you attack a construct. Oh, that's actually super cool for later in this campaign. When you roll a 20 on an attack roll, target takes an extra seven bludgeoning damage, or extra 14 if it's a construct. Maybe, but he's like the last surviving, right? So. There's not really much to rebuild here. <laughs> I kind of like the Mace of Smiting, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. Or a Mace of Terror. Hmm.
Let's go to hammers. Flame tongue dagger. Um. Could the boss be wielding it, trying to break into some construct? So in this in this area, Norman. So this is this isn't necessarily a boss room. So I know you're you're new to the stream here. So there's a lot that that like may not be contextually available to you. Um. So the the quote unquote boss of this the what the this part of the campaign is is actually a uh, like a an orc shaman, right? Of some of some regard. Uh, would he be wielding the hammer? I think, I think what would have happened here, like in this room in particular, it would have been, he would have ordered his minions to try to go open the, uh, you know, the, the, the vault, right? So the vault's going to be pre like, it'll be clearly marked or something like that. And you'll, you'll have a thing and, and you'll, you'll have to do some stuff to get inside of it. And like, oh, one of the pieces of it that they need is, is this right here. Right, so it's this this gem that I just have pictured here. It not that big in in like real life, but you know it's pictured here. Um, so so they need this gem, but in touching this gem, you kind of awaken you know you awaken the beast. Uh, so that's that's kind of where we're at with that. But so maybe he wanted the weapon, or maybe he wanted to see what was there. Mace of many fa faces. You could probably do that, or even to preserve the history. I think Nolan, that's probably what it would be for. Like it's it's though to, it's, but why couldn't Odeg go get it himself? That's what I want to know. Cause would would Odeg know, or is the secret lost because it's been too long? He wanted to have something for the Dwarven history erased. Fire Elemental's trying to keep a secret. I don't think the Elemental's trying to do anything. I think the Elemental's been bound here by the previous inhabitants, and it just it's just here. And it's severely weakened comparatively to, like, where when the Dwarves were here. But I think there's opportunity here. I, I have some ideas for this that I don't really want to share on stream because I don't want to spoil it for the show. Because the Fire Elemental until doesn't acknowledge him as the rightful inheritor for quote unquote reasons. Can make the gem a weapon augment, but that means they have to give it up when they use it to get into the place. No, I'm not gonna make it a weapon augment. I like the idea, but I don't think it's it's right for this. Maybe he's a guardian of the tomb, but no one speaks. Yeah, I think. Uh, like I know that's that's what this is, but I think I would have him speak primordial. I think it would be primordial. Oops. Doesn't acknowledge him as the heir. But he doesn't even have the weapon, so he doesn't know. There's something here. I just, I just... There's something here. Right? Maybe there's another dwarf? Oh. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know... Ooh. Yeah, Kim, I like this. I like this. I like this. I like this. It, yeah, okay. So, what's what's the name of uh of the spirit trapped in the hammer? We'll we'll get to the mechanics of the hammer itself in a bit, but I'm going with hammer also. And so he's something silver now.
The race is a dwarf. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I, I like this. Because this ties into where the rest of the Silver Nail clan, clan went. Because, just because he's the last surviving one here doesn't mean he's the last surviving one in, in Elodin, right? Elodin's the, the continent. He's not the last one. There's an entire... There's an entire area... This map is incomplete, but I can at least show you where they would have gone. Right there. That's where they'd be. So, I think... Yeah, the, the hammer doesn't see him as the, the rightful heir... I need Darren. Sure, Darren works. I like that. Uh, we're we're discussing magical weapons. What's in the vault and uh, spiritually infused hammers? I'm just gonna go with Darren. I like it. First come, first serve. Um, Darwin, Darren Silver now. Hmm. And I think, I think Odeg, man, how does he take it? If I want to be fancy, thanks. Um, Huh, let's see. So Odeg's not going to take it well, but he's old. He's so old. Like, this this is something he's been, like, just keeping up with the, the silver nail. Like, he, I think it'll be, it'll be crushing to him because he's the only one that's still here. Right? But I think that Darn, the, the spirit, will, will know who the true heir is. And the true heir is going to be in Belarin. Or Belarus. Um, will our heroes ever get there? Maybe. But I think, I think Odeg will ask them to take it. Ask them to take the hammer. And the spirit will agree to help them if, if their destination leads them in that direction. Yeah, yeah, I think so, Dusan. Roll for it. See if he's overjoyed or not going to take it well. I think I don't think it'll be overjoyed. I, I think. Do any of the characters speak with Dwarvish? Nope. <laughs> nope. I don't think so. Common gnomish goblin. I think none of them took Dwarvish. Common and Elvish. Common and Elvish. No. Who put the crystal in the fiery garden guardian room? Uh, it would have been the it would have been the previous. Uh, it would have been the dwarf clan, because so the 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 thing behind this is this would be here. Uh, so when the the dwarves would come to the forge every day, they would have to wake the primordial that fires their forges. So the crystal is there. Uh, Essentially as like a, a touch um, activation for the primor primordial to wake up and to begin work, right? They'd have to get scrolls to comprehend languages. Dwarves speak Dwarvish in common, though. Yep. Feel like the spirit should only speak Dwarvish? I think so, too, because I think that that'd be funny. Yeah, no, I, I think he only speaks Dwarvish, which is why, while they're with Odeg, I, yeah, you know what? I think I'm totally, totally down with him only speaking Dwarvish. Yeah, I think that's really funny. So they're talking to him would be limited? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I think I think that'd be really funny. I kind of like that. <laughs> Which means that like even they might never go if Odeg like dies for some reason or something like they never know like what the fuck is on about this this hammer unless they go like find out. But it doesn't mean the hammer would stop them from like utilizing it. It's just a there's just a random dwarvish spirit trapped in a hammer. They don't fucking know, you know. This room might have a collection of religious and ceremonial artifacts, maybe a small library for its daily significance. Uh, I don't think it'll be a library because there's too much fire. <laughs> but yes, I, I agree with those other things. If they don't touch the crystal, they could avoid the elemental altogether. The crystal needs to be removed from its pedestal and placed into a slot to open the vault. It technically forces them to touch it. So... Wait, does Ignis have comprehend languages? Alarm, disguise self, cure wounds, shield of faith. Nope. That sucks for him. It's unavoidable if they choose, if they choose to go do this for Odek. They don't have to do this. This is completely outside the realm of their actual mission. This is not their mission. So what I want is them to be, you know, there's a vault here. There's got to be something that helps them. Right? They can avoid the elemental, but then they can't get in the vault. Exactly. Yep. So, that's why we want something in the vault that's that's tempting for them. Odeg just wants the hammer. So, I, I'd say there's just, there's like a fucking treasure hoard in here. Right? What the hell is a sword of vengeance? That sounds cool. Scored. Scored of vengeance. Too many staffs. Vengeance. Plus one. The sword is cursed and possessed by a vengeful spirit. Becoming attuned to it extends, extends the curse to you. Yikes. That might be a little dangerous. I think the hammer should also give them plus one on history rolls related to dwarven history, but they can't understand the dwarf. Kima, I think that applies if they speak dwarvish. They don't. It's just gibberish. Right? I think that's a good that's a good idea though. They could ask the hammer about dwarven shit, but they don't understand him. Like they having the hammer uh would give them the the racial trait. Everything Dusen said. Your ancestor forsaken whippersnappers got goblin blood on my haft. Um just gonna fucking look something up. What is it? It's the... Whenever you make an intelligence check, history, related to origin of stonework, you're considered proficient in history and add double your proficiency to this check. I think it gives them stone cunning. If they can understand him. Is there anything stopping them from grabbing the crystal and running straight to the door? Uh, the elemental. The primordial. Yeah, and it's not game-breaking. Yeah, no, it's just, it's literal history. I think that's cool. I think that's really cool. So, let us it's a plus one hammer. With stone cunning. But it happens to have 
a, a dwarf chapped inside of it. Um, okay, cool. I like that. Yeah, or a way to understand him. That is a good goal. Um, I think, so what's a, what's a backfire, you said a backfire potion? I don't think I've heard of that. Is that an item? Or are you talking about like a fire resistance potion? What's a backfire potion? I've never heard of that. Okay, but so now, so we have that. This is a cool hammer. I like this thing. This thing's neat. But now we want them to like, we want to have something here that's going to help them uh, defeat the the big bad guy, right? We want we want them to, to get something really cool out of this that's not just um, the hammer. So many wands. Wandered into a homebrew portion of the wiki. Gotcha. I think... I think... I think Odeg... Like, he fucking knows that there's some shit that goes on in there. And so, like, he hands them, like, a potion of fire resistance or something. Yeah, yeah, I know, Kimon, they could do that. But they don't have that right now. Yeah, they don't have that currently. Oh, because my freaking, yeah, my all of my stuff's messed up. Okay. Potion of fire resistance. Resistance to fire for one hour. Or just give the hammer to the dwarf that asked to get it for him? Yeah. So th that's the thing. They could still do that. But I think when they do that, um, Odeg's going to be able to understand it, but he's not going to be there with them the whole time. I kind of want... God, that's, that's a, this is a hard fight if they if they... Yeah, we'll have to see what they do. We don't know yet. Uh, I, I, I still think he gets a po like some he hands him a potion of fire resistance. It was like Odeg's like ah yeah you know I always meant to to go there and do this thing, uh, but you know I'm old and I don't think I could I could do this you know. He'll have to have reasons for why he didn't go over there. And maybe, well, you know, maybe it's because why wouldn't he have gone over all the years? Maybe he didn't know. He didn't know it was buried with him. Read some old books or something and found out. The old histories. Maybe that happened. Okay. Um, let's see. What... I think we need to start thinking about shit that happens that might not be this. So, that's an entrance. That's this. We did this. We don't need that anymore. Still think the elemental will be hostile to? Maybe. That's possible, Nolan. That is, that is a possibility. Um, I 
I haven't done anything with this yet, huh? have I? Lighting? No. Okay. Um. So this is kind of like a, a a main square of 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 the the dwarven stronghold here, and I think this is where um. Where's clan caves? I think this is like an area that they might have to go through. Is there no item that they could find earlier in the dungeon that allows them to understand a dwarf? Uh, not that I had planned on, and uh, yeah, not that I had planned on that like them having access to. No. Clan tents. Yeah, they don't have to understand the spirit. It doesn't matter. Um, this is the Great Hall. So I don't know how they're going to, like, how are they going to do... Yeah, we'll we'll see what they do with it first. We don't have to give them everything. Um I'm trying to think like how are they going to how are they going to do anything with this guy? They'll have to figure it out, I guess. That's their job. They're gonna get. There's. They're gonna have special access to things, with Odag, which is good for them. But Modbot requires sustenance. Me too, man. I'm gonna have to eat here in a little bit. You could mirror the scenario and have and force them to do it either way. Hmm. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Nolan. To be honest, I'm not. I'm not sure what mirror you mirror the situation and force them to do it either way. Am I planning on streaming after D and D? Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think so. We'll see how I feel, man. Like, cause Dungeons and Dragons days are long days. <laughs> I like. I work on shit for like. 10 hours, you know? Have I started Dark Souls 3 yet? No, I have not. I have not started Dark Souls 3 yet. Welcome to the stream. Uh, starting Dark Souls 3 would either be tonight after Dungeons & Dragons or tomorrow during uh, normal stream time. So, yeah. No, you haven't missed that yet. Okay, how about this? Let's Let's do this. What's your CR? Nine? Jesus. Oh. Yeah, this is too high level. Twelfth level spellcaster? Yikes, boys. Where's the... There's one that's like... Hang on. Now I gotta... I gotta... I gotta look at some stuff. Am I killing them today? Is it streaming and laying? Oh, streaming and playing just fun? It is. It's just a lot of work. Like, in general. Uh, setting all this stuff up all the time. D&D &D days is what I'm talking about. They're just It's just long days. Am I killing them today? Possibly. That is distinctly possible.
Huh. I'm looking at potions of r just random potions right now. Yeah, we gotta find a way to. I think I think I know how we'll do it. That's okay, I think I know what I'm doing here. I think I know what I'm doing. Like if they choose this location over the other area, maybe the elemental and the stone are in the stronghold, and they have an option to go back to the forge. I'm still not understanding. If they choose this location over the other area, maybe the elemental and the stone are in the stronghold and they have the option to go back to the forge. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, man. And maybe I'm just I'm missing some something here. I'm sorry. Let's do four. Okay, so additionally, to get to the forge, there was a couple traps that we want, we wanted for that, that walk, right? I think also there's the possibility that the, the forge is guarded. Right, like the exterior of the forge is guarded. Which, so let's, let's set up a map for that. Oh, we utilize this already. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Yep. Um, create a new page. This song's so weird. I love it. Um... Yeah, okay, so this is the same Dwarven Forge map. Um, here, hang on. This is actually... I need to change this to a map. But I really only need the, like, top portion of this. Not even the full top portion. Just, like, a piece of it. Let's see. Not nearly big. What, is it? what are these? 30 by 30? Wrong one. Is the forge in the stronghold? Yes. It is. Oh yeah, I have that map. It's like super crudely drawn, but we have a map for this. Hey, look. <laughs> I forgot about this thing. Oh my god. Uh, so this is the forge here. And here's the vault. Some traps down the way. This is where they came in. This is where they just had that fight. Uh, and Odag is basically going to lead them, like, up and around through an area to where he, like, lives. Right? But yeah, the forge is down here. I totally forgot I had this. Jesus. Freehanding stuff in this program is, like, it sucks. So bad. I should use pyromancers and make that a reality. By magmans or orcs? I think orcs. I think I think orcs are guarding it. Because they they'll have they'll know what the hell's over there. Right? Let's just let's take out a couple cultists here. I think yeah, I think they're they know. But it's not gonna be very many guards. There's gonna be like one or two. Pyromancers.com is a little map maker thing you can do maps. It's really cool. I bought their program on Steam. Oh. Neat. Neat. 
I already purchased a lot for this, so I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I appreciate the suggestion. Yeah. We only really need this. Cool. I like I think Yeah, I think it's just two. It's just two. And they're just they're just like posted up guarding this area. Like some bandits. So here's the thing. Um this whole this whole stronghold is is like freaking locked down with with grayskins, orcs, um goblins, ogres, shit like that. This is like a the stronghold's been turned into a staging area. Uh, for this war that the shaman is running, essentially, right? So, like, there's not a whole lot of other shit going on in here except for this. And here's the thing. I don't even think I need a map for this. This is something like, yeah, you come up to it and, oh my god, there's some fucking orcs there. You know, it looks like they're standing guard. As you come down this hallway, what do you want to do? This is just for visualization for us. See, so, like, I don't think... There's only two of them. I don't even think this is an initiative situation. Like, I just don't think that's that's gonna be a thing. All right. Um. I think that kind of takes care of the vault. I need something in the vault. <sighs> that will help them. <laughs> hey, legs. How you doing, bud? Welcome to the DM prep stream. Show me the map again. I can whip one out for you. Uh, here it is. So the, the mine, these are all mines. M is mines. This is housing. Dwarven housing. Forge. Vault. Um... More housing up here. Uh, and then, like, this is where, like, the, the nicer area of, like, the dwarves would be, right? Better houses. F is farms. So this is where... Remember, we decided what how the silver nails died out, right? There was a blight uh, of, a, of a particular type of mushroom. It's, it's very potato famine, right? Very potato famine. What's O? Uh, what did I say O was? Um... What did I say? Oh, I don't remember. And what was B? I did this way too, way too long ago. I think B is like the Great Hall. All right. I think O is like, it's like the big entrance and then like the market square. No, I don't think they had a barracks, dude. And I think they just had housing. Because the housing, it's very barracks-like in general. I think on this side, I'm just redefining this now. Fuck it. I think on this side, you'd have the like the Great Hall and then the like the Temple. Like the Dwarven Temple here to Belaris. And then here you would have like a, the big ass fucking entrance and like the marketplace. You could give them a map somewhere. Yeah, I think I think uh Odeg's gonna try to help them out with that. Depending on how they how they agree to stuff. Or you get a crude map off the orc guards. Uh we'll see. We'll see. Odeg's gonna have his his own like Marauders map type situation. Are they in ruins? No, it, it it so it's a lot of this stuff just looks like it was straight up abandoned because it was, like they just left. It's not in ruins. It's just they just left. Some of the stuff will be like a a lot of the because this is. Most of the stuff they made was out of silver, right? Like, all the finer things. So, like, all of the dwarven statues have been, like, torn apart from uh, the invaders and things like that. But a lot of it's just it's just abandoned, you know? It's just been abandoned for hundreds of years. Your girlfriend got you pancakes for D&D. She's going to watch D&D with you? That's awesome, Legs. That's really cool. What was the V? 
vault. Yeah, this is the vault. So they have to take the, the key from here, take it to the vault. The X's here are, uh, we were talking about particular traps that would be on the way down to the vault. And I think, I think that's still there. I think that's where we have the quote-unquote foot soot spray and fire spray traps. Jesus, it's 3d10 fire damage? God, that's so fucking brutal. This would literally kill them. It's a pressure plate, clearly. It looks complicated. It is a little complicated. But, you know, the game is only as good as you try to make it. Alright, this is just our visualization here. So what do we give them that can help them out? This is all underground. Yeah. This is an underground, like, dwarven stronghold. I think... What, what do we give them? They There has to be a reason. Odeg's gotta be like, so this is what I want from there, but I think there's something there that can help you get rid or, like, stop the, the Orc Shaman. What is it? What's the thing? Right? What would it be? Take a look at magic items, boys and girls. See if we can't figure something out. Think Rob's gonna raid you just a heads up? Oh, Jesus, Rob! Party is six! Welcome. Rob, you can't be here. I love you, bud, but you can't be here. Thanks for the raid. Hey, Jess, how you doing? <laughs> Rob's not watching. Good on him. Good on him. Good, good, good. I didn't think he would be, but I thought I'd I thought I'd say it. He wants no spoiled. Good, 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 good. Kazool Studios, welcome to the stream. How are you? We're just going through some uh, some dungeon master preparation stuff. So, that's what we're working on. Um I'm trying to think like I'm going to place this back on the GM layer here. Keep it dark. I kind of have like a Oh, what do we They don't read dwarvish, so like this is difficult for them. Bye, Dad Rob. What? Just came to drop the kids off? Thanks, Rob. I appreciate it, bud. Don't look at the screen. Don't look. Bye, bud. I'll see you in an, in an hour and a half, my man. Hopefully a little sooner. We gotta set up cameras and shit. Uh, Possibly. It depends on what the players do. Depends on what the players do. I'm not looking. Yeah, I'll see you then. All right, bud. Thanks. Kazool's now falling. Dude, thank you. I appreciate that, man. Welcome to the Salt Factory. I hope you enjoy your time here. Um... All right. I'm going to make the assumption that Rob's gone. Uh, so we're going to start talking about stuff again. So I think I know what I'm doing with this area. Like this is, I think we've got that pretty well figured out. But you missed the D&D? You haven't played in so long? Dude, it's the best. Should uh, drag a couple people to uh, to play with you doing something like that. Um, uh, We need something. What is the... Be 
gone, Rob Font. <laughs> nah, man. All right, I think... What's a good magic item for them to find? You know? Let's call it just rare. A magical sock. A dwarvish to common word book. That would be funny. Yeah, it goes the other. I think that'd be a little bit too little too late, but uh maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Magic cheat codes. You think there should there should be some mithril chain or some such? I think so, like some plus one armor is is like right up the the alley for this. I I, I agree on that regard. Uh, where's armor? I know you guys don't see this right now, but hey. Some burn ointment? Yeah, actually. What levels are they? Uh, we have two at level three and one at level four. Yeah. The best loot is too little too late. In KOTOR, you get a crap load of money on the last planet where there's no stores. Nice. Or an intelligence up for Rob. Yeah, that's not happening. We don't want Darian to get smarter. Darian can make, make a choice to get smarter if he wants to on his next level. Is it? Huh. Yeah, I think it's just plus one armor. I thought they were higher. Nope, they are not. They are not. That's why everything is so fucking dangerous for them. Early levels. Potions or scrolls are always good. Actually, items depends on the storyline. Yeah, I think chainmail plus one. I think that works. Yeah. Yep, I, I like that. I like that. And that should be in here, so we can just drop it in. JML plus one. Plus one AC. Yeah. Yep, I like it. Roll some loot in dungeon. I did. I did. A plus a plus one um armor is, is right up is right up the alley for this. So. But potions wise. So why you know join them? Because I'm the DM. <laughs> Or an arrow catching shield. Yikes. Um. Hmm. Okay, I've, I've got a, I've got a couple ones that I think are are there. So there's whoa. Nolan with a hundred. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that. A mushroom resistant shoot, Yagi. Jesus, dudes. Hopefully that actually picks up. Thanks for the twenty-five, Yagi. You guys. You guys. Um, I think So I kinda have I have an idea of what I what I want here. So we have the chain mail. We're gonna have this potion, and we're gonna have this potion. And we're going to have Wand of Shape Stone. Mm. 
Legs, don't feel... Dude, there's there, there's never a need... You never have to donate. There's never a need to do that, okay? I'm just happy you're here. What if they find a tiny little gnome that can guide them? I think that's already Ignis, and he's doing the best he can. It's a forge, so finding weapons and armor kind of makes sense. Yes. Uh, but it's also been abandoned. Um, so, yes, I, I, I think so. I think the hammer, the chain mail couple potions or a dwarf that forges weapons every hour or so no thanks um hmm maybe a stash of materials yeah I'm thinking so What about a spell scroll? Abandoned forge, they can find some tetanus. <laughs> Maybe just a chest full of loot. All good ideas. <laughs> Plus one ammunition for for a crossbow. <laughs> oh man. Weapon of warning. I don't even know what that is. Unrefined mithril ore? Uh, well, it was a silver mine. I don't know how much mithril they'd have. Yeah, sounds good, Jess. Extended clip. Yeah. Um, I think... Hmm. Ow, just poked myself. I have, I have some ideas for this. I don't want to... And I, I thank you for all of all of the, the ideas. Louie, welcome to the stream. How are you? It is similar in appearance. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Yeah, true, Dusen. That's true. Hmm. I don't play D&D, &D, but make those potions inexplicably spicy. Can you create whatever loot you want? Or does the item have to exist in the software? No, I mean, we can make one. It's it's easier to utilize if it's in here, but you can I mean you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm I'm literally I'm just rolling on a random table here and looking at it and just seeing if it's something that I want. It's kind of what I'm doing right now. This seems like so much fun. It is fun, dude. It is it is a blast and a half. Um. Okay. Well. All right. What about scrolls? Maybe there's some scroll. The scroll of find traps. <laughs> Ooh, I think I'm just gonna put that in there for fun. Goggles of night. We so I think um that's what Ignis is making on next level for for uh, Darian. Because there's no reason for Goggles of Night to be there, because dwarves have dark vision. Heat-resistant Detroit-sized rats. For, love for you to create two items. One that they find first would be fuck you guys item, then something actually useful. Yeah. Yeah. Scroll of Fine Traps. is. I think I'm going to do that, because I think it's hilarious. What is that? Like, I need to know what that does. See if it comes up here. Yeah. You sense the presence of any trap within range that's within the line of sight. A trap for the purpose of the spells includes anything that would inflict sudden or expected effect considered harmful or undesirable. Specifically intended as such. Spell would sense an area effect 
affected by the alarm spell. A glyph of warding. Oh, or a mechanical pit trap. It would not reveal natural weaknesses in the floor. Oh. Merely reveals a trap is present. You don't learn a location of each trap, but you do learn general nature. I like this. That's funny. The scroll of fine traps. Oh, be out of date. No, it's a, it's a magical spell scroll. Maybe that's why they would be there. The dwarves didn't really need them, so they left them behind. Yeah, I I don't want to... I think it's a good opportunity for Ignis to, like, build some, like, report with Darian if he does it. I want to give him... I want to give him the option. I don't want to take that away from him. I think the scroll of fine traps is hilarious to me. And then uh, we'll we'll have uh, just like uh, a horde of treasure, CR five horde of treasure, uh, because this is a CR five encounter. Um, yep, yep. Uh, yes, they will have to avoid traps to get to the scroll of fine traps. Yes. <laughs> Which is hilarious to me. So on a road trip with my dad once, we ended up on a highway that wasn't in his atlas because phone maps can't possibly be right. And he's like, where did this highway come from? It's not on the map. The map is 15 years old. <laughs> That's funny. That, that, there, this won't be like the only, like the only thing, right? The only traps they ever find. All right, so treasure hoard. So here's the thing. What if they decide not to do this? I'm just writing stuff down. Sorry, guys. So there's just gonna be like these various uh like treasures that they'll find. It's such a shame that DD is so time demanding. Well, that's why there's a bunch of video games that exist uh around the idea. Uh yeah. Like watching while knowing what the layout traps loot already said are so much more fun. <laughs> if they don't check out the mine, then it becomes something you have pre-planned. You can just up the CR later if needed. True. You know what I would love to encounter in a D&D game? A scroll of animate dead next to a dead body that does something. I feel like that would be like really way too on the nose. You know? So here's the here's the the deal with the vault though. For those of you that may not have seen previous sessions. Um this this whole place has been abandoned hundreds of years ago due to a famine that led to uh a bunch of like bas basically a disease outbreak uh which wiped out most of this clan. The clan ended up leaving, right? At least that's that's the gist that we get from here. Basically they abandoned this place, which means they would have taken as much as they possibly could carry. Which means this vault isn't necessarily, like, super full of stuff. They would have taken as much as they could with them. So there's going to be some stuff. Um, but I think uh, some of these things aren't, like, uh, you know, it's not going to be a bunch. 
Or McSwiggins still here? That'd be perfect. It would be. But we've said that a million times about McSwiggins. <laughs> I think everyone does. And I think that's... that's It sucks. Um, it sucks. I... You know, whatever. I... There's there's a whole bunch of things I would have I should have could have done differently. All right. Because that's hilarious to me. I'm going to add that. Um So a lot of this stuff is is like the personal things of 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 that former clan leader, right? Stories mean more when there's consequences. Losing a favorite only makes it more special. I guess so. Okay. I think that's the treasure that they could get out of this. It's a lot. Um, I've I've written it down. I don't want to spoil it because it might be exciting for you guys to like. Hey you know, experience the treasure with them. You guys helped me out a lot already with uh, with what else is in there, the the story important things. Uh, so I think we're good on that front. So that that's fun. Um, so let's start talking about the actual big bad, right? What what's what is what is the final encounter in this area look like? Now I my my hopes and aspirations are. It takes place in the, uh, did a char character permanently die in the campaign? Uh, we had three characters die in the campaign. Yeah. Three of four. Uh, at the time. My dream is that everything takes place in the Great Hall. Right? Because that would just be, that would just be crazy cool. I haven't watched any of the previous streams, and I already love your DM styling. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I just realized I didn't turn on my chat bot. Hang on a sec. Well, you're more than welcome uh, to to go watch literally all of it. It's all up on my YouTube channel. Bunch of stuff there. Um, so I'm turning on my chat bot so I can give you the command so I don't have to, like, actually type shit in. But it's it's, uh, it's YouTube slash Runaway Robot. And you can go take a look at all the all the stuff we have there. There's, uh, there's like, character creation streams. Uh, DM prep streams for this show, uh, as well as the season one, like the characters we're talking about right now. I actually don't have a Discord command, Yogi. But thanks. Um, okay, cool. So I think that's that's good there. What do we do with this? All right. So what is what is our guy? What is he? What is our what is our big bad? Right. So we we need a we need a he's an orc of some kind. So maybe there's like a, a an orc that we can utilize here. Um, we we've classified him as a shaman, right? And I think he he's gonna be a relatively powerful shaman. So we want him. We want him to be pretty strong. The shaman second is that a is that a type of thing? I saw that twice. What is shaman second? Yeah, the game the game will play is is at three o'clock three p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The shaman is that a is that a no? Am I misreading something there, Dusan? <laughs> Lizard folk shaman. <laughs> Some kind of war chief. So we, we've established that he's he's the second in command to a war chief. That he's kind of gone rogue. Um, so we, we've established that before, Nolan. So he's... he's I'm just saying who he is. I don't think he, there's a real thing like... Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so here... So for you guys that don't know. Um, his name. He's down here. So he's the Orc King Advisor. His name is Val Rule. Uh, so he's been taking orc, goblin, ogre, troll soldiers and converting them to followers and worshippers of cultists of Karis. Karis is the aspect of disease. Uh, aspects in this are the, it's the god system. So here's, we have a whole list of all of the aspects uh, that are the quote-unquote gods 
uh, of the mortal realm. Now, the aspects are interesting in that they function very similarly. They, they function similarly to, like, the Greek pantheon, whereas they're very involved with all the mortals. Uh, but also, their power in the celestial realm is directly related to how many, like, how much, how many people worship them. Like, it's all directly related to, like, what their their hold over the, the population is. Um, so, the Orc King Advisor of our rule is working on funneling power, sacrifices, and energy into creating what's called a Chosen. A Chosen is where an aspect takes a piece of their immortal self, places it into a mortal being, and that being works on behalf of of that aspect to further their power on the mortal realm. Oh, hey, Jollis. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate the bits, bud. Louie, you feel like you should get into D&D sometime considering I like RPGs already and could have some fun designing a character since I like to draw often. Dude, it's the best. Character uh, character creation is one of the best things. Jeez! Guys, guys, Yogi, thanks for the 10, bud. Um, so... What he's doing, what he's been doing, and they haven't seen this yet, a bulk of the former Erdrich slaves' captives, uh, POWs from the war itself, have been funneled here to Valrul. And Valrul is, like, just physically sacrificing them and taking their life energy and putting it into uh, this, this uh, whatever this Chosen is going to be. So my thought is that this, this, this whole thing is actually, hopefully they arrive before, you know, and they, they can they can end this before the the chosen is created. Orc Eye of Grumish, yeah yeah yeah. Uh, I've used that previously. Um, we used the Orc Eye of Grumish previously. Uh, but I think I think that's good for him to be that. But I think it would be him and something else. Or Claw of Luth Luthic. What's the Claw? Fifth level spellcaster. Ooh, that might be better. Warding bond, bestow curse, create food and water, guiding mendence resistance. War of the chosen. Maybe. It might be, yeah, it might be one of these two. But like they're not gonna be alone. So how do they This is I guess this is on the characters, how they're how they're gonna try to fight this. What are they going to do? They're going to have to find a way to get him alone. If they can. Riverbottom Studios. Welcome, and good day to you too. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We're doing some DM prep for the show Die Fall, which happens at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, about an hour and eight minutes from now. Lunch time for you. All right, Jess. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. So... I'm kind of thinking, what is what is a good uh, being that would be a, a chosen of the aspect of disease? What's a what's a like a, a is there so this is like disease something, giant rat disease? <laughs> Just templating some spell cards before you get ready and leave for your game. Nice, dude. Cool. Um. What would we what would what would that be? Monitor lizard? Hmm. A mosquito? Resistance help from the POWs. That could help. Yeah. Nolan, that actually that might be a good idea. Yeah, so maybe we need to create a situation where uh they can they can save the POWs. Right? All of those captured to be sacrificed. A Sturge Swarm? What is that? So, you, think of it this way. Like, th this, is, this is something... It would be a singular thing. Uh, that the a godlike aspect would take a piece of itself and shove into it, and then uh, creating like a, a, a demigod essentially. So it's it's gonna be it'd be something that's pretty solid. Right, right, right. So the, in, in general, yeah, can't die from disease itself, but it can spread it a golem hybrid. Some manner of monstrosity. I'm thinking monstrosity as well. I kind of have an idea for it. 
I kind of have an idea for it. Um, let's go monstrosity and just take a look. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. This is uh, Cobalt Fight Club, by the way. Some kind of bat, like a giant bat. I don't know. Basilisk, maybe. Onkegs are cool. I think I'd want it to be minimum CR3. Is that right? What does that look like for them? Let's take a CR3 Basilisk. Medium encounter. Or an ooze? Hmm. Chimera? I think max CR here, we're looking at 5. Skitter Haunt, CR 4. Am I... Could have all of the cooties. A festering gelatinous cube. Animated cursed weapon. What uh what book is that in? TOB. Tomb of Tome of Beasts. It's a third party thing, so I don't know if I'd use it, but. A dude with a really bad cough. I love it. I love it. Challenge rating four. Damage immunity is acid. Can't be blinded, charmed, deafened, exhaustion, frightened, prone. It's a large ooze. Takes acid damage. If a skitter haunt damages a medium or smaller beast, you can try to infest it as a bonus action. Damaged creature must succeed in a DC 14 con save or become poisoned until a disease is cured. Every 24 hours, the target must repeat the saving throw, reducing its hit point maximum by 5 or 1d10 on failure. The effect becomes a skitter haunt, retaining its outward shell, but replacing its flesh with a skitter haunt ooze. Yeah, no, this is this. Oh, man. No, that is right. This is exactly what's happening. Oh, I love this. Good find, Doozin. Good find. What the fuck does this thing look like? I don't think this is going to be in here, so... Yeah, it's, it's not. Um... As claws and a stinger, an acid spray. Yeah, dude, this is it. This is it. Let's hope it doesn't infest Balmyar, right? All right, so Skitter Haunt. It's totally a Skitter Haunt. I love it. I gotta find a way to like get a token for it into the game, but uh, this thing is crazy cool. I'm already in love with it. Uh, so, hang on. I'm gonna pull something out here and take a look at the uh, the shop and see if we can't. Uh, get Tome of Beasts or something. I want to know, like, I, I'm going to see if I can't buy Tome of Beasts. They don't even have a search on here anymore. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, let's put Beasts, see what comes up. Beast, despite being third party, has a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, not in roll 20, apparently. We have Tome of Foes. Oh, pre-order. It's not even out yet. Oh, Tome of Foes has 230 new monsters. Dude. That'd be so cool. You know what I'd use? We, we'll, we'll, we'll just make it. We can actually just make it. Uh, so, what does it have? It has claws and a stinger. Uh, what does a skitter haunt look like? Can someone tell me? It's 
So it's a beetle, beetle oozing out of every joint. I can try to infest it as a bonus action. The damage creature must succeed. It sounds like like a some kind of scorpion type creature to me. Google says something like a huge centipede. Hmm. What size is it? Is it large? Yeah. Sounds like a spider. Kind of. Oh, sorry, River. It, it's going to auto-delete that, bud. It only times you out for a second. I I, 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 I linked it. Or I, I, I can click on it. It's fine. That's what it is. Right here. Thanks, guys. And thanks, Susan. Appreciate it. So this is what it looks like. That's kind of cool. I'm going to save this picture for later. Awesome. I'm going to save that. Uh, so what we would do uh, is basically I'll make a, I'll make a, stand, uh, a token for it, but what we would take is like uh, like a random creature and, and utilize that. We have a new command. Yeah, apparently. I didn't even know that existed. So, hey. Thanks, guys. Skitter haunt. Totally. Okay, so I need to make a token for it. A token and a and a page. Okay. So we'll we'll make the page now, and I'll assign a token to it later. How about that? For scientific purposes, for killing my players. Um. So let's let's see. Uh, I just need a, a like a CR whatever because we're gonna change all of it. So I just need uh. What, 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 what do I have? Let's go back. I'll send you guys back to the uh, the map building page here. Um. So let's take a look at what I have in use, and we can just grab something like a uh, giant centipede. I can dupe these, right? Show to players. Uh, where was it? In edit, and then I can duplicate it. Boom, baby. Thanks. Where's my dupe? There it is. Giant centipede duplicate. Boom. All right. So that's that. And uh, what we're gonna do is edit it. This is actually gonna be um. Skitter haunt. That's gonna be in my journal. <laughs> uh, cool. And we'll remove the token, remove the avatar, and I will put this together. Okay. So save those changes. Let's go to the character sheet. Now, not a giant centipede. It's gonna be um. What would what do we want to call it? I don't think I want to call it a skitter haunt, right? What would we what would we what would we call it? A devourer. BTTV plugin has a two-click shortcuts for it. Nice, that's awesome. Seeing how there were giant centipedes before, it makes sense for one of those to be corrupted into a Skinner Haunt. True. Um. So they they don't know what it is. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll just call it uh. Oozing corruption. They don't know what this thing is. Uh, so it's it's large. Uh. Large ooze. I, I think it's it's so weird that it's classified as an ooze. Uh, has a armor class of uh, fourteen. Natural armor has ninety five hit points. Jebus. One and it'll be. I mean, it's it's formula is ten d ten, plus forty. We don't we won't utilize that, but it's good to know. Speed thirty feet. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say it has a climb speed. It's fuck. It's a bug, right? All right, so its uh, strength is 15. It has a dex of 11, con 19, constitution. Holy shit. An intelligence of one. Yes, that's why the shaman has to be there, right? He has to be able, he has to be there to guide this thing. Damage immunities to acid. Uh, immunities, acid. Condition immunities, uh, blinded, charmed, deafened, exhaustion, frightened, and prone. It has blind sight. 
up to 60 feet. Wow. But it's blind beyond 60 feet. And a passive perception of 8. Okay. One charisma, poor dude. It's literally the grossest thing ever. It's an ooze since the actual monster is the goop that's taken over the creature. You're so right. Yeah, yeah, that's super cool. The ooze has just infested the husk of the beetle. Plague husk. Lesser avatar of disease. Plague husk is really cool too. I like plague husk. I'm going to use that. Cool idea, man. Really cool idea. Thanks, Riverbottom. Long, how long until D&D? &D? Uh, about 55 minutes from now. When one of your party members die, take it over the body. Nice. Did a basic map, Kima? Awesome. Uh, all right, let's continue working on this guy. CR4. He doesn't have any, like, stuff. Token size is not one, but that's cool. I think, what's large token size? I don't even know. Uh, doesn't know any languages. That makes sense. Challenge rating is 4. 1100 XP. Okay. Always rolls advantage. Yeah, that's fine, because we just take the first number. Whisper query. Don't auto-roll. NPC name in rolls. Yeah, I think that's fine. Does it have an old corrupted dwarf? How can you send it to me? Yeah, uh, you can send it through me uh, to on the Discord PM. That's fine. And uh, for those of you that, like, you know, are interested in being in a Discord where we talk about Dungeons and & Dragons and shit, uh, ask the mods. And they can provide you a link. Um, so, actions. We have claws and stings and shit like that. So that's a claw attack. Oh, it has multi-attack too. Okay. Uh, type is melee plus four to hit. Target one creature. On hit is 1d8 plus two. Slashing. Plus 1d10 acid. Oh, Jesus. This thing is, this thing is no joke. Yikes. And the target is grappled. The target is grappled. If it fails the check, DC 12. This will be... Uh... I'll let him pick. I'll let him pick. Whether or not it's dex or strength. Has two claws, each of which can grapple one target. That's fucking badass. Wow. Alright, hang on. I need to add... It's multi-attack. Just so I know that it uh, can make two claw attacks and one sting attack. Wow, it can make two claw and one sting every turn? Oh, boy. That is dangerous. That is really dangerous. Wow, okay. Cool. Cool. DC-12 is not too... Yeah, it's not too, not too difficult. You like the name ER Stonewall? Me too. Wasn't it mostly subs regulars? I feel like I'm missing things a lot. I, you know, true. Uh, but I think, I think what we can do is we can start separating within the Discord itself. I like having people in there. It's fun talking to you guys. Um. Okay, sorry. Taking a look at other stuff here. Claw. Uh, the next one is sting. It is indeed an attack. Melee. Plus four to hit. Oops, that's a three, not a four. Single target. 
Reach five. On hit. Is 1d10. Plus two. Piercing. And more acid damage. 1d10 acid. Jesus, dude. This thing will fuck them up. It also has acid spray. Recharge on a six. Spits acid. Each creature that takes 48. Jesus. The, what is it? Uh, plague Husk. Spits acid in a line 30 feet long, 5 feet wide. Each creature in a line takes uh, 48. Acid damage or half damage is successful. Oh, hang on. This is actually an attack. Uh, there's no to hit. It's just damage. How do I make it do that again? That's fine. We'll just do, we'll just say it's 48. That's fine. And we won't auto-roll it. Or half with a DC 14 dex. Okay. I need to change this. Plague husk. Plague husk. Jusk. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god. I can't spell today, guys. All right, Plague Husk makes two o'clock and one sting. D Baldi, what's up, bud? How are you? Welcome to the stream. So it takes over anything it kills. Do they have to face an army of corrupted vermin just to get to it? They've already been doing that. That's the thing, Norman. They've already been doing that. Yeah. You put add eight. Or AD8. Sorry, yeah. I feel like the Shaman will bring it into being. Yeah, so they've already been facing corrupted things. It's just not necessarily things that the husk has corrupted. Right? There's there's a whole there's a whole lot of backstory we haven't uh that's not necessarily being addressed here. So Alright, so we have broken shell. This thing might actually just straight up kill them. We might need to do something about this. Uh, 1d10. I think I might leave that as... Oh, five. Jesus. Uh, Plague Husk. It's the next one. Infest Vermin. is It's ridiculous. I love this thing. This is the best skill. It's so hilariously terrifying. It has to succeed every 24 hours until it's cured. That's hella dangerous, boys. 1d10. That's so crazy. I love it, though. That's really cool. Okay, that's a plague husk. Oh, yeah, no. The players have died. It's it's happened. Uh, that party does have a paladin. Yeah, they do. They do. You sent me a map on Discord? Awesome, let me take a look at it. Holy shit. Well, thank you. I'll take a look at it in a little bit here. And, uh... If they need a map, we might use that. Um, this should now say Plague Husk. Okay. Cool. They picked a fight while they were chained and bound. I know. And they had killed one of the dude's brothers. It was uh, questionable. But, yeah. So, here's the deal. We've kind of done the prep for this. I think it's a Plague Husk here which is going to be crazy fucking cool. And then I think they're going to also have to be... 
So there's a plague husk. I'll fix this. Because they're not going to get to this today, I don't think. And then there's an orc shaman of Karis here, which if I... Basically, we can just change this. This is Valrul. Which I think he should have a higher armor class than this. Am I thinking of that correctly? Is he the... He's not the eye. The hand? We'll see. We'll have to, we'll have to, I think there's some fine-tuning to this that we need to do. Your barbarian's gonna go nuts? They tend to. Is it gonna be Valrul or his apprentice, disciple, etc.? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We're gonna have to figure this out. Because their mission is to stop Valrul. So they'll have to do that at some point. Um, cool. So we've been doing this for... Two hours and 15 minutes. Uh, it's been good. And thank you guys for all joining me here today. It's It's been a lot of fun. The show itself will start in 45 minutes. So what I'm going to do is eat, uh, prep the show, and uh, get everyone's cameras and stuff set up, all the sound stuff set up, because I do all the production for it. So I got to do all that. Just made a basic outline. It's cool if you don't want to use it. I, I'll, I'll take a closer look at it when I, when I get a chance here. Um, but thank you guys for joining me today. I think we're actually pretty well set for, for a couple different cool things to happen. So... D. Baldi's following! Thanks, bud. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Salt Factory. I hope you enjoy your time here, my man. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are new here, uh, drop a follow if you want to be updated on when the show's going to go live here uh, in about 45 minutes. Uh, we also play other games. We don't just do Dungeons & Dragons here. You can also check out all the previous Dungeons & Dragons stuff on the YouTube channel. Uh, command for that is exclamation point YouTube in the chat. You can follow me on Twitter, at RunawayRobotYT, exclamation point Twitter in the chat, uh, and that's where I put all the updates on when we're going live with things, different games that we're playing, stuff like that. We'll likely be starting D Dark Souls 3 after the D&D stream. So, I'll, I'll probably be sticking around for that. But yep, so that's that's uh, that's what we're gonna do. This, ep this episode here of the DM prep stream, if you missed all, some of the previous stuff, uh, we'll go into the playlist of all the other DM prep streams we've had, uh, probably tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on when I can get everything edited down and put together. So, that takes time. Plus, if I'm streaming after uh, after the, the show, then it, it takes longer because I don't have time. But, yeah. It's been fun. But, yeah, Dark Souls 3, boys. Hype. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to get my ass kicked. But thank you for joining me now. Uh, and I hope to see you guys in about 40 minutes to uh, to watch some die fall and watch our boys hopefully come out successful. I, I'm a little I'm a little scared of, of the outcomes here. But uh, we'll have to see. So, thanks guys, and until next time, later.